The views and opinions expressed in this podcast episode are those of the host and guests and not their sponsoring institutions. Stupid criminals in Detroit. Are they that stupid this week? They're stupid. Oh, boy. I'm going to do two this week, two this week. One that just happened less last week and then one that happened 10 years ago. We're going to go back in time, okay? It's a retro edition? A retro edition of Stupid Criminals in Detroit. Okay, so this one happened last week. So two women from Ashtabula, Ohio, which is in Northeast Ohio. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Like can, you, the, can, you, can you say that name again? <laughs> Ashtabula. Ashtabula. Ohio, okay. Which is in Northeast no, Ohio. Yeah, east of Cleveland. He, he's yeah. saying it right. Like east, east. It's, it's close to the Pennsylvania border. Um, yeah. That makes sense. They drove a dead man to the bank to withdraw money. Oh, yeah. I, I heard about that. What? Yeah. They and drove they were, they were, his, like, his corpse. Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. They Before drove his corpse more... to the bank. Wait, wait no. Hold they, on. Weekend, hold they weekend that Bernie them. Yeah. They, that's exactly. They, did they really seriously weekend that Bernie him? Yes, they did. Yeah, <laughs> but they was taking care. But they was like taking care of him or something at the same time. Like, taking care of him, he was dead. It was, it was almost like BAPS, like a BAP situation. Yeah, like how much you like to BAPs. take out? <laughs> no, no, that was crazy. <laughs> we were talking about this at work yesterday. It was crazy, man. Like, oh, was, was, did and then they dropped. Did they and then some... they just dropped him off at the hospital <laughs> after they got the money. That's crazy. Did, did they put sunglasses on them? To... Probably. <laughs> oh, we get that burn. Well, oh, well one funny, was driving. <laughs> one was driving, and they had him like in the passenger seat. So you know, when you pull up to the bank driveway, the camera can actually see the, everybody that's in the car. So yeah, you know, they was actually able yeah. to see like his face and see that he was in the car with. He him. was there, yeah. Just not yeah, alive. So they just send yeah, the so car what... to the tube. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. They, they, they had to have like they had to have put like sunglasses on to cover the fact that his eyes aren't open. <laughs> his eyes might have been open. You never know. Oh my gosh! Yeah, this it's a wild world. So so is this, so, <laughs> is this our weekend at Bernie's three that we've always asked for? I just said that. Oh my god! Yeah, but when you talk, Marcel, it's kind of like muffled. So you gotta like talk into the mic. I'm on. Damn it. We're talking on the phone. Get out of Hogwarts and come back. Oh, that's what he planned. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a problem? No, it just. Yes, there is. But anyway, retro stupid I criminals need that in game Detroit. already. Mm-hmm. Twenty fourteen. This one's gonna make it to high school. A man tried to cash a check for three hundred and sixty billion dollars. What? <laughs> huh? It was like just a blank check. He tried to cash a check for three hundred and sixty billion with a B. Dollars. <laughs> what a dumb. Oh <laughs> no, he didn't. Oh my! Well, no, wait, no wait, he wait. didn't. Don't, don't, don't lie to me like that. Hold on. Holy shit! That is yes. Okay. Yes. Here's another. Hold on. Here's here's another movie. Does anyone remember the movie Blind Check? Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly... Yeah, Blind Check. Yeah, yeah. We know. Uh, we know about the movie Blind Check. It's a Christ, Disney movie. That was... That was that's holy like, my god, that's wow. 360 billion. Yeah, a man tried to cast a check for 360 billion dollars and immediately got flagged and arrested. Oh. I wonder why. Yeah, it's like come on, come I, over I wanna... to this room, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Sit right here oh, while I, the police come. I gotta see this. <laughs> I have to see this check if if it looked even remotely 
I, I'm almost wondering, like, did it look legit or did it just look like something that Basil? Like, he tried to cash a check for three hundred and sixty billion dollars. What do you think it said on the check? <laughs> well, like if it said like a real, like like a real name and stuff like that, where it's just like it could have been his name. It could have been a real check, but he tried to check out three hundred sixty billion was like, dollars. Checking and said like, "Nigga, really?" Or put in three hundred sixty five. It's 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 ridiculous. It's stupid. I just stop trying just, to put realism into it. It is stupid. I, I just want to see the. I just, just want to see the. I want to see the. I want to see the bank footage because I want to see like the teller's face when he went to turn that check in. He probably yeah, get. That's what I'm he saying. Like, yeah, come come over here, Mister Johnson. Right. Come and sit in this room real quick. Like he, he was probably like, uh, "Here you go," and they looked at it and they were like, "Huh, okay." So uh, right here. Uh, she was, minute, pressing, she was probably pressing the silent alarm as, like, as like he was writing the check. <laughs> Just like <laughs> a black escalade swarmed the credit union. <laughs> but like they like like they, she, they pressed it three times. All right, we'll send we'll send the we'll send the black SUVs. We'll send the SWAT team in. Man, time to go. Unbelievable. And speaking of unbelievable, well, we're going to talk about the. Uh, we're just going to talk about like a few minutes, not like a long time, about the State of the Union address that happened on Thursday, I believe. Yeah, I don't know, man. Our politicians, man, the people who are we're supposed to be looking up to, do not have the decorum that we thought that they were supposed to have. It was crazy. Hey, my it favorite, did. my my favorite part of the night was when uh, Biden saw uh, Green, and he just went. Yeah, Marjorie Taylor Greene, she said, say her name. He was, he was, he was like, like, oh, shit. <laughs> there you are. I thought you were a myth. <laughs> <laughs> like, he looked like he just saw a cryptid. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> You're really a real person. And the fact that she's a real person. Well, she... in all fairness, did you see... And the fact Dude. of like what she wore to the State of the Union, which is like, I think, like I think that's what called him. Are you really a politician? Did you she really had a get... forty-five Trump hat, a all red suit, she red shirt? Had, no, not even a suit. It was just a t-shirt. Trump, she probably had the Trump shoes too. She probably she had, had the red shoes. She had them forty-fives yeah. on. You know she did. Uh, the MAGA five. <laughs> <Mag -a -5. laughs> <laughs> we are. We say your name. Say your name. <laughs> But no, I, I I'm I'm I agree though. I, I think it was a very piss poor display from a lot of people. Although I do think the I do think it was a step in the right direction for the Biden administration to try and like put some put some drive into their their like the campaign. Yeah. And then he addressed the Supreme Court. That was the best part. He was like, yeah, pro life or pro choice. And he was like, he looked at all nine justices. He was like, yeah. You saw what happened when you took away Roe v. Wade, and the years after that, people wanted their abortion rights back. It's crazy. It's amazing how the smallest minority of people have made the largest voice. Yes, because if you if you look at if you look at well the stance of the country uh, versus the stance of the lawmakers and the Supreme Court, it's they're 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 opposed a lot of people for a lot of these bigger issues lately have been more on the side of we want to give choice to the people regardless of what that issue is whereas a lot of the politicians and a lot of the court have had courts have been like no we 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 don't think that's the case we want to take your freedoms away from you <laughs> yeah I was like, that's basically what they want to do it's like that is literally anti-american and and i understand like people are pro-choice pro-life however if you take away the pro-choice that means you take away people's choice. You know what I mean? Which you is gotta funny have the choice. Because... But is it being pro? Which, which is funny because like, the re... being pro is the same as being pro choice. Like, well, be well, being pro being pro choice could mean that you are pro life. Yeah, in, it could in, be. in essence, because you you're choosing the right to life, um, which I think a lot of people forget about. Um, but no, that that's a that's a very very big. But if we're taking, like, but if we're taking the rights away for women to take, you know, to make their own choices, like, hey, I want to, this might mess up my life, this might kill me, you know, I don't want this baby in plain terms, you know, before this, you know, the first trimester, 
she has she should have the choice to be like, hey, I don't want it. Uh, that's fair. And everybody yeah. should just walk it's, away. Wh- yeah, no, nah, nah, which, which is funny nah, because nah, the very party. No well, the thing that well, which is funny because the very party. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let let Chuck talk because y'all all I do is talking over. Him. That don't that don't make no sense because like if if I'm gonna have this baby and this baby gonna kill me, I'm gonna get rid of the baby before I kill myself because at the in real life, if if I find out early enough, the baby ain't nothing but an embryo, right? So it's not like it's even got a body or anything yet. So oh, so but that's where that's where the Alabama I'm, Supreme I'm, Court now says otherwise. I'm gonna go ahead yeah, and get Alabama, rid of Supreme, it because Alabama Supreme Court can suck dick. It's stupid. They they fucking dumb. <laughs> they already dumb. did. No, but but Chuck Chuck that that actually that actually causes that that is the cause of the debate. Because what people can't agree on, or what the or the the, arg- the cause for argument is, when does life start? Whether it starts at the first heartbeat, conception, when the motherfucker is born, or well, and that that's that's where some people that that's where that's where that argument is. Um, and so the problem isn't that the problem is more or less that people are trying to bring religion back into the state in like a major swing, which is not what they're supposed to be doing. And this is coming from somebody who is a religious person. I go to church from time, like I do go to church and all that. Like I, I do believe in God, but at the same point in time, I do well, believe religions that and state do, do not supposed to be combined. Exactly, and that's the problem not. because people there uh, most of. And I'll be honest here, a lot of a lot of the conservative party, uh, especially the the MAGA Trumpians or like the MAGA Republicans, are very much a we need to put Jesus back into the in, into the government. And they and people are like, wait a minute, no, that that doesn't work because. If you say Jesus is the highest the one, that means you're disregarding thing, everybody else. But my whole thing is, wasn't the government who took who took the Pledge of Allegiance out of the fucking school because it said under one guy, individual, like, and people was having a problem with that. So then they then they take the Pledge of Allegiance out of the school. So now you're right. trying to bring now you're trying to bring God back into the state. Yes, because that, that is, yeah. it's something it's something that you 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 want to pass. And that which that's, is funny yeah. because. And that that's what's happening, and that that's the that's it's the been, problem because it's because it's beneficial to you, right? So if exactly. it's beneficial to you, we can bring it back in. But if it's not beneficial to you, then we're gonna take it out. That mm-hmm. that is that is the literal that is the literal problem that they are having. That is the literal argument that is. Yeah, that's bullshit. And, well, you know, because, because most of the state, because most of the states with the highest abortion rates are the states that didn't want it. It doesn't make sense. Like the highest abortion rates are Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Georgia. Kentucky and those are the states well, that, that well that's because abortion. they be having all them ancestors and kids and shit. So <laughs> they, well, them, them the states that be you know what I'm saying. So and I'm not saying like documented abortions. These are people who just go in the back of the you know and just you know do what they do. Like the ones with the like the more records of abortions, like you know, the, the typical was Texas, California, New York, because there's more people there, Florida, you know. But most of the Bible belt, they're the ones who are sleeping. Let's go on sleeping around, having these kids out of wedlock. Out of wedlock. But and that, that's why but like, the thing a lot is, of the Republicans the, another, I'm listening to But you. another thing ahead, is it's it's a lot of I'm gonna just say this. This is for a lot of old white men who want to keep that white bloodline pure, but True. a lot of women is getting abortions, so they trying to stop these white women. From t- aborting their kids, so they can be the majority. You know, they can stay the majority. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I believe so, in that too. This is this is this is why they're trying to stop abortions. I don't care what nobody. But says. then, wouldn't it be? But then, wouldn't it? But on, on the other side of the, you know, on the other side of the spectrum, would, wouldn't you want to keep abortions because more white women or more white men are dating in the other race? Wouldn't you want to more keep abortions? In the other race. Well, there, there's that, but the, you, but we're also see, we're also seeing a large resurgence in traditional values and like the pro life view from late stage millennials and Gen Zs, which is very interesting. Hmm. What are traditional values? Well, tra- like the, the, the traditional of the like, 1950s, more or less. No, what are traditional values from the 1950s? Because depending on where you grew up in America. Tradition your values tradition. might be different. Your very values might be different. Well, but what I, what I mean no. is how, how you look at like 1950s America. For, like from the, what lens? From what like, lens? Well, well I'm, I'm getting that. Sort, of, sort of sort of like the sort of like the the man goes and does all the work while the woman stays home. The 
like the um sort of like those those 1950s kind of christian misogynistic type values those are seeing a, a but, bit of a resurgence which is again basically very- watch watch leave it to beaver that's that's what they want to go back to so In the, some old white men, the old white men are trying to bring back their youth before they die i get it I understand. and tim scott don't forget tim scott no, no, mm. fuck, fuck that. Okay, I'm gonna say this on. I'm gonna say this on this recording. <sighs> fuck that tap dancing coon, nigga, Tim Scott. That's that North Carolina. Uh... No, he 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 has buck teeth and he can see his gums before he even smiles. That kind of guy. That guy. I just seen some. I just seen some oh, North Carolina like mayor or governor run running for governor or something, where he was like, women should like shouldn't be able to vote type shit like. That's some wild stuff, and you people people are gonna like, vote for him, Chuck. People are gonna vote for him. Like he he literally said this came out of his mouth. He was like, "Yeah, women shouldn't be able to vote. Like we should go back before women was able to vote." Like hmm. somebody, like, saw, somebody said this. Back, back when America was great, when women said, vote. said that some black dude said this out loud. Yeah, with cameras going. That that is that is that is some cool. Like he's shit. running for yeah. like North Carolina governor or something like. Literally said this out loud, and he's winning. He's winning the Republican vote in North Carolina right now, of which is wild. I, I which I bet he is, which is wild, which is crazy because it's like this is crazy. Why would you not want to? Why Why would you vote for someone who would say that? And I'm pretty because sure they, women will fucking vote for him because they they expect That's the crazy people. part. They expect people to be stupid and not pay attention to what's really being said or what's going on. Mm-hmm. So, so I love how it's like, okay, go ahead and try to repeal the 18th amendment or the 19th amendment, but then you like, where's that gonna, where's it gonna stop? Are you gonna also take out the 13th, 14th, and 15th also? Oh, for sure, they're gonna go for That's that. That's the too. plan. That is the plan. Yes, quite literally, that is the plan. That's the plan. That's the entire plan, and we need to we um, need to vote to get these people out. There, there's that. There's uh, Operation Twenty Twenty Five, which is as as a as my as my girlfriend described it, complete totalitarianism from the Republican Party. That's what it's looking like. It is. You saw, it we is. witnessed this on Thursday. We literally had, I think it was like twelve or fifteen men, like closer to the front. With all blue, like blue navy suits and red ties, they all had the same. They like they called each other, "Hey, bro, you got your blue suit and red tie." And they all came to the <laughs> speech, all in a row, wearing that same thing. I'm like, this is like some North Korea shit right here. <laughs> yeah, or no, it's Project 2025. That's what it is. But still, like it's it's a, it doesn't look good. We we it can't we can't let the Republicans take over the White House. And then did you see Mike Johnson behind him? He wanted to stand up so bad, but he didn't want to look like a a, t- a traditional Republican. He didn't want to look like a Trumpy. He wanted to be he, like he was. He was like, I, I can't stand up. Shit, <laughs> I want to clap so bad. So I got a so question: bad. Do y'all do y'all feel like it should be a, a term on like the House and the Senate and and shit like that? that like, I believe that, no, I believe because I should. I believe there should be term limits on people in Congress. Like, I, I do as well. I feel, two, I feel, three at max. I feel, I feel like I, I mean I could give them a ten year like because you vote for them too every two years, right? You vote for yeah, what, what, two or four. I don't want to. No, do it. So, well, so you, so houses every two years. years, but it, it depends on the yeah. Depends on the you know it's, it's staggered so yeah. So, so I can say ten. Give them ten years in in like ten years to like in total for a term. No, like, probably yeah. yeah. No, he's probably saying like give him a max of like five terms in the house. And... Yeah, yeah. Probably. On a, on a two, so on there's a rotation. I can I can see that. Or I can see doing right now. I can see two. No, I can see two ten year. I can see two at five max, year maybe. No, I can I can see a max twenty years. I think I think twenty years is enough time to move through the shit you need. No, nah, man, we're doing ten. We're doing 10 because that's that's what we're doing no, right now. No, because the, the problem is, is you're going to have one for like the small states like that when you get one rep that they like their rep. They can't find anyone else that does a better job. Yeah. So they want to keep them. Like, and you get what? So who are you going to replace Bernie for for Vermont then? 
Doesn't matter. It's whoever no, whoever yeah, wants yeah. to be the so, re- representative I mean, of Vermont. I mean, te- technically, he's a senator. Yeah, he just had to be senator. Because Bernie is Bernie just turn him out. Because Bernie is is one of those old people that need to go. I need to go. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Well, because the, our our biggest problem is we have a gerontocracy, right? Like most of most of our most of Congress is old or relatively got, old. Yeah. You got a bunch of old white men trying to make rules for a world that they not even going to be a part of in the next they don't even understand 10 to 20 right years. Now. Well, and that's they the biggest problem. They don't understand. And, that, and that's the problem. And that's the problem that, that the government that, that we have with our government. We got all these old people making rules that's not even going to that's not even going to be fucking relevant or, you know what I'm saying, in the next 10 or 20 years. Like, But the, it's, the, it's, it's for just, some of them, though, for some of them that been for that been around for that long, they weren't always old. Is the thing they were young, but they're old now. They're old now. They need to go, and they and they're old now, and they still thinking of the way that they was thinking when they was fucking younger, and that's the problem. Yeah. Like when Bernie first got into got to got to the Senate, he was probably like 30, 40 maybe. It's it's and now he's it's almost not, he's pushing not, eighty. It's not the fact that they're that they're that they got in when they was young. Of course they got in when they was young, but in the matter the, of a good the problem is too. they the problem is they still fucking got the same mentality of when they got in when they was young. And the world is not that no more. It's yeah, not it's not what, what what it was when y'all was young. So it's I not mean y'all to go. And you need some I fresher, mean, younger minds that's up to date with what the world is and, and the situation you're seeing and, right now. Well, and before, and and no, hold on, hold on, no, though. no, hold on, no. And, bef- and before Basil talks, because I know what he's about to talk about. Um, Bernie Sanders is a good example. Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden are good examples of people who are in Congress or in politics that pretty much are like, "Hey, do we need progression. This is what needs to happen." Blah 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 blah. Which means they're old now. Which means they have followers like AOC. You have the new senators coming in, new the new representatives coming in to keep that message going. But you got to let the young people take over. You can't just be mm-hmm. taking your taking over your Senate seat or your representative seat hostage. You know, mm-hmm. get out, let us come in and do stuff for us. But the thing is, as we saw at the State of the Union address, half the room don't stand up. And there's that half of the room that causes things not to progress. Okay, so we have people. Be, we have people who have the same they idea. Don't want to stand up, or is it because they can't stand up? They can't stand up. No, they can't stand up. They can't. You know they can't. <laughs> like I said, Mike Johnson wanted to stand up for what what, what Joe Biden said about immigration. He was like, he's like, ah, shit, I can't do it. <laughs> Trump is gonna kill me. <laughs> like, I don't know. I I just think I think after you, I think you hit an age where maybe like. 60 65 you got to be like yeah okay it's time for you to I get did my time here. I'm retiring I mean I'll get my yeah. pension I mean there, <laughs> enjoy your there, life. there should be there should be there should be an unofficial like kind of an unspoken where you should you know no, there is there, there, there is no, should be a, it should there be is an unofficial there should be a, a law in the constitution an amendment to say should, mm-hmm. 10 years max or three two to three five year terms and that is it Make but, your mark, fight in Washington, progress the nation, then let the generation after you do the same thing. But that's if that you part. can, if your state or your district can find another person. I'm sure they, they, can find they will somebody. find someone else. They, they, like they, those they random sure people, find like wait, 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 those wait, other wait, random wait, people wait, you see on the ballot, they're going to vote for somebody. Wait, 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 whoever wait, wins, hold the, hold whoever wait. wins the vote gets to be the next person in power. No, Basil, I think I think you're looking at this from I I understand what you're saying, but I think you're looking at this from a different way. If we set up a system to where people have to cycle through, those places will have no choice but to start figuring out how to cycle through. through. It might take 20, 30 years before they can actually figure it out, but by that time, everybody will have had a chance to cycle through. So you'll have to if you have to, if you're forced to go through with something like that, you'll have to find a way to make it work. So even if you have the small town, even if you have the small town, because I understand what you're saying. If you have a small town community that is like they have like the pillar of the community and then they're they're their congressional representative, cool. That's fine. But if you know you only have 15 years 
to do to, to make your mark and and lose and, lose, or and, and, and leave. Maybe Somebody by that tenth year, maybe by that tenth year, you're you're pushing through for somebody else. Maybe you, that's up to the representative to go back to that community and say, "Hey, look, my, my I need some. I need, I need to groom somebody Scouts. to right. to take right. my place. You got to start scouting. Yeah. Start scouting. Now, now here's here's my other problem too that I have with the whole term thing. You're gonna start having uh, political dynasty families all over again, like Kennedys and the Dingles and stuff like that. To where all they need to do is, but that, but do... that's how it is right now. No, but you're going to be having more of it, like yeah. You know, how with the Dingles, you had okay, John but, then Dingle, even vote, but then people have power to okay. vote, Nazo. They don't, you know, you don't understand like what but they're going to do. They're going to be too stupid though, and they're just going to keep going. But by. even but with, that's like, politics he, though. That, people are stupid. Even with even with that, you still have a younger mind in there that is going to be able to. Keep up Change. with the younger generation that that's going to be after. I'm saying, need I so, remind you? So even even say say even if if my granddaddy was a Kennedy, I'm still I still probably don't think the same as my granddaddy, right? I, yeah. So my, my my mindset might be totally different from my granddaddy. So I'm gonna take the seat that my granddaddy held, but I'm gonna still I'm gonna I'm gonna still run it, think the way that I want, think you know. America's supposed to go, but and no, Nina, it's, you know, it's gonna Nina, be, it's gonna Nina, be kind Nina, of like when you watch those also, rich, when you like watch like Dynasty or Yellowstone, where you you don't have that much of a say. You have to kind of listen to like what the patriarch says and go like, no, you don't. You don't okay. have to. You oh, don't wait, have wait, to. wait, 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 wait. But but using 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 your logic, there currently is a Kennedy running for office. He's running for president. He's not doing that well. No, like, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is is no, just just yeah, but no, it's not not no. Right now. Well, it's that actually, that is he, that is an insane name, person. But he he's using his name to propel his campaign, and it's not working. The same thing happened with Jeb Bush. You remember when he was like, "Please clap," like just because well, that, that's from, the, just but like just because you come from a dynastic family, and even if that family, like the figureheads of those families, back if then, you have another still, choice. That's you have have you have another choice that's more polarizing, aka Donald Trump. You're not gonna vote for Bush if you have a polarizing no. figure like Hillary Clinton. Most young people were voting for Bernie Sanders. They didn't really weren't sure. they weren't voting for Hillary Clinton. So even if you have a dynastic, that's because no one likes Hillary. Doesn't... No, people loved Hillary. She had enough votes no, to beat it, it was... Bernie too. But more young but it people was what Bernie was more Bernie Sanders. more so was talking about. It was this message that catered to yeah. the young people. That to the game Hillary Clinton had no message. She was just saying, I mean, she was the more qualified person of everybody she, on that yeah. whole thing. She just didn't have a she message just, to get to the young people. Yeah. That part. And that's why she didn't win the presidency because Trump really, like, he was out there. He was out in Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania. Like, you know, he was out here. Also, Jeff, Jeff Bush him, is a but, bad example. Yeah. But but no, you we're just we're just giving you examples of what you brought up. You said people are gonna have families that people are just gonna vote for. Jet Bush, Hillary Clinton. But, but the pro, the problem with those ones, like the Jet Bush, your thing is your thing is you're talking Florida, about Kim Jong Un and those kind of those kind of dictatorships. You know, because name, at, at, kind of at like that point, it's a dictatorship. That's a dictatorship. These is we're voting people. No, no, I, I'm about to say this is still a people are voting. Yeah, for now. No, look, for instance, here's for here's a local yeah. example. Just John Dingle, he was in the house from the 50s all the way until about the mid 2000s. Then he let his son, John Jr., take over. And then from there, he, uh, John Jr., let yeah, I think Debbie his Dingle. sister yeah. or something like that, Mary. Debbie Dingle, yeah, yeah, Debbie. If you start doing terms, they're going to start wanting to push out kids. So it's like, okay, I did my take. Yeah, but they're the representative, my... they're, the re they're the representative of their area that there are. So people who are in the area are doing it based on what they need. If the people right. appeal to what they need, it doesn't matter who who their last name is, and that's that proven. That's proven because you literally had seven or ten qualified Republicans in the 2015 debate, but Trump won the damn thing. <laughs> so your true. whole argument is not making any sense. Trump Trump is a whole. That's that's still a whole thing that needs to be studied for. Decades on into it doesn't need to be of... studied. This man literally like brought up fears of white America and white America that voted. Part. At that part, that's, that's all what happened. Yep. I know. Barack Obama became president in 2008 
and white America panicked. That's what happened. That, that is literally what happened. That is literally what happened. There's no. We don't have to study it. We do need to study it, but we don't we need, need to, to study it. Just it. No, that that but needs. To be. You don't need to. You don't need Trump to delve said. into like this. Like like, to, like you know, you don't have to go into history books and be like, oh, what happened? What happened? Black people came out in droves in 08. They came out in droves in 2012. When they found out that Barack Obama, well, they was like, oh snap, he can only have two terms. Black people did not show up in 2016, and that is why Donald Trump become, became president. That is that's just, and, that's just fact. They up and, Trump said, and Trump said what white people was thinking out loud, and they that's 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 it. Literally, and, and, that, and they and they, and they agree with him. And during well, his that, presidency, he wouldn't even he wouldn't even talk to his his cabinet, his his researchers, scientists, his wife. He just went out there and said whatever he wanted. Well, and that's that's what people like. And that's like, dangerous. He was brazen. He was bold. He was different. Right, and yeah, that, he was different, right. but for the wrong reasons. And but yes, <laughs> yeah. this, you're, you're you're right. I, you, y'all are on my other screen, so like my camera's here, but y'all are there. So like, I understand. You're I, understand right. I understand. You're, I understand. You're you're right, and I, I I agree with what you said earlier, Chris, about how even though, um, like all all it takes really is somebody who is different and polarizing enough to change people's minds a little bit, right? That that's sort of what it is, and that's what happened there, and it's it's. And he wasn't your typical quote unquote politician, right? And a lot of people are. Like, as, a and a lot of people, no, but a lot of people are tired of, of your quote unquote the establishment. Yeah, and, that's what happened. Yeah, so so a lot of times, a lot of people just voted for Trump just to smack the fucking government in the face. The establishment in, real life. in the face, yeah. It, it, except for what people, well, a lot of people don't realize, especially for Republican voters, is the establishments put in by those from like Wall Street. So you you didn't vote for the establishment; you just voted for the guy that's. Funding the establishment, true, or profits from the establishment in Trump's case. So, so it, it that's what happened. Sense. That's what happened, and now we're here in 2024, voting for Joe Biden or Donald Trump. And I said this on the Chris oh. versus it, I said this in the Chris versus Everybody podcast last week, um, to close the show. Would you rather vote for progression or chaos? Because four more years of Donald Trump, I don't think this well, country people love chaos. I, but I think I think South Park said it best. It, it comes down to a wet fart burp versus a giant dick. God Lord, like you said a fart. Yeah, uh, a wet fart or a giant dick. Uh, I think that's what South Park said. No, no it was no, no, no. It was no, it was a shit sandwich and a giant and a giant douche. Okay, it's still no douche sandwich, douche sandwich. It was a few different things. So, which which one's true? <laughs> no, because I remember that. <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, what can a president really do? Before we get into the top ten list, what can he really do? What can he really do? Because the, the Republicans were talking sign about shit. That's it. Oh yeah, he can he can sign something to stop immigrants from well, migrants from coming, which he could do. I'm not gonna lie, they could he could do it. However, there's only like a few instances in American history where it's actually happened. And I looked it up yesterday and I was like, this is this is pretty interesting. Like Donald Trump did it, Reagan did it, Ike did it. Ike did it, yeah. Ike did a lot. So I mean But with the amount of time left, even trying to even if he signed the executive order tonight. There wouldn't be enough time to get it rolling. There's not enough manpower at the Mexico border to stop all these people, which is a in, this is a surge of people coming from these countries. It's not like the Obama era or the Trump era where, you know, you catch a few people, blah blah blah. You know, some people people are gonna still come over the border illegally, whether you like yeah, it or not. No, it's it's a mass exodus. Yeah, it's a mass exodus of South and Central America. So it's not the same immigrant slash migrant slash asylum seeker problem it's a problem yeah. and it's i'm not, not even, gonna say it's not a problem it's, not even, it's a problem and it's not even uh mexico and central america now it's you're starting especially with what's going on in haiti uh these yeah, last haiti. couple of years you're starting to get haitians you're getting those uh that instead of trying to get into like england or france uh through the mediterranean now you're getting some that are coming from north africa to Central yep. America and then doing that whole long cross. So you're getting literally uh, intercontinental. Yeah. 
even China and Russia, they're coming from the regimes of Putin and China. They're coming to Mexico because they can't go to the United States and they're migrating in through the border. So that doesn't mean all of them are dangerous, that. like Fox News like to say. Like, yeah, they just say everybody dangerous. I literally, I literally watched Fox News for four hours the other day and I was like, these guys are lying. What? Why did you do that to yourself? <laughs> These because guys. I, wanted, I I really wanted to understand what people are like feeling inside. Like people are talking at work, like oh they're talking real crazy at work now. So, and I just want to understand what they're looking at every day. So I looked at it for four hours. And I was like, damn, maybe Mexicans <laughs> are the problem. No, maybe these asylum seekers are criminals. <laughs> well, see, at some point in time, you have to remember the news became highly pol- like highly politicized. And so oh, I, I know our, I know that I know well, that. I, I, I know but the, my, my point my point to this and this is just for people who don't understand how all of this kind of works is um, the politics of it are very simple now you look we're looking at it now like oh well he or she says or does this and that's a big problem but it depends on what side you sit on so like if you're if you're akin to Fox News they tend to have a like a like a, a conservative viewpoint right whereas like CNN has a leftist viewpoint and so does MSNBC and yada 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 yada, yada. And so a lot of times our views tend to get uh, skewed a little bit by what we watch. And if you listen to the same rhetoric long enough, eventually you'll start to it be like. It becomes true to you. Huh. Yeah. So I was like watching Fox News. I'm like, man, these guys are just. Not to mention, I'm going to say this again. I'm going to say this until people understand how toxic Fox News is. These guys had to pay almost a billion dollars. A billion dollars <laughs> settlement. Lying. For lying. <laughs> so why are we still watching Fox News? It's crazy. But also, anyway. Walter, how you said like CNN is left. It's like, man, I don't know. I, I say MSNBC is still like the left version. Not even the left version, just the Democratic it's, it's, version. It's, the, it's um, the left version of Fox News. That's all it is. It, you know, it, it is. It is like like back in the day. It, it literally I don't watch came down to it literally came down to on the left you had Maddo and on the right you had Tucker, and that that was just sort of the yeah. Okay. I don't want see. Th- this is much. why I, this is this is why I rotate my news, and I also will go uh, international perspective also. So like I'll go like NHK, BBC, just to see you know what's their input of what's going on. Because mm-hmm. yeah. sometimes it I don't, takes I don't watch an, like. I don't watch either BB. I mean, not BBC, uh, MSNBC or Fox News because it's just too far sides of the spectrum. It's like, yeah, can't that's watch been it. my problem with them for years. I just don't watch the news. You don't watch the news, Chuck? Hell no. Mm-mm-mm. I got not you. Chuck. I got you. You just turn into the crisscross corner every week. I understand. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Number one source. Number one have source, you, Chris Cross Corner. Have you become a venerated news source? Have we become a venerated news source? <laughs> in in England, Ooh. yeah, we have. In Canada, we have. <laughs> We're like 20% over there. What? But I think it's mostly like Windsor, because they're like right across right over the border. So that's fair. Oh, Canada. Because like yeah, that's... you can I can click on Canada and then look at the different cities. So one is one is Windsor, and then two is like Chatham or something like that, and then Three is like Hamilton. Which is just further up. This is close to the Toronto, so which is pretty nice. We still uh, have our Nigerian the... listeners. Yes, they are two percent of our listenership. Yes. Um, what could a president actually do? Of course, we have these the commander in chief. He heads the Air Force, Marines, Navy, Army, all that stuff. The, the only one he really has full control on, though, is just the Marines, though. Yeah. Um, collective defense agreements with 54 nations. It might be more. Um, he has the power to veto laws made in Congress. Uh, he can pardon anyone for any crime except for impeachments. Um, he appoints to cabinet members and diplomats, and he appoints federal judges with the Senate approval. So... I don't see anything about stopping people from coming over the border. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what political party. 
And even if you do try to say, oh, you, you just write an executive order, it's like you do realize executive orders can still be overturned with enough congressional and Supreme Court pushback, right? Mm-hmm. Which they were under Trump. He's tried to stop people from coming over. Supreme, the Supreme Court that he appointed was like, no, nah, nigga, we ain't doing this shit. No, no. Unfortunately, at that time, it, was, it wasn't it was enough of his, because I think he only had one appointee at that time. Well, it was still majority conservative, though. It was like 5-3, I think. Yeah, but it was, was like one the old, it, was, missing. it was the old. It was the old, like, the old Republican. Yeah, I, I understand. The people who didn't want the the Republicans, not the the MAGAs. Yeah, the true Republicans. I, I the guess Republicans I were say. like hell no. Mm. The old Republican guard. The old Republic. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was Chancellor Palpatine. <laughs> oh my gosh! Is it? We are. The United States is the Galactic Republic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I can't. I can't wait to do. Uh, was it? Was it Natalie Portman's line of like, "This is how democracy dies with a round of applause." I've That's heard right. that uh, for the past three elections, man. I, I'm tired of hearing it. Either let democracy <laughs> die or shut the fuck up. And if it does, man, I'm moving to Nigeria. Man, it's on. I can't say what I want to say because live, we're live. So Canada, maybe I guess for me. No, cat, you do not want to move to Canada. That's the one place you don't want to move if America becomes. Oh, I'm just trying to think of where where where's my safe place. Your safe uh, place would no, not be anywhere next to America. So move to I got to say, Europe, nowhere, nowhere in the Africa of this country or Colombia. Australia. Okay. Ooh, Colombia. Man, Australia. I don't know. Would kill me. I don't know. They got those uh those cocaine infused rollerblades. <laughs> I do not care. <laughs> Man, I I remember back when high flying meant like you watched Brink and they did the whole half pipe stuff. Now high flying is a whole different thing. <laughs> My top 10 list of the week are my top 10 TV shows of the 2010s. Last oh, decade. Okay. So honorable mentions, guys. These are uh, we're not gonna do honorable mentions. We're gonna do the top top nine, then I'll do my honorable mentions. Okay. Okay. Number 10, we had Black Lightning from the CW. CW. I, lo- I like that show. That was a good show. I'm, I'm, I was I was mad at I only for- gave it three seasons. Me too. I forgot about that. It was a good show. Because cause they could have kept it going even after like Arrow and all that went off, just like they did the Flash. They could have gave it like two more seasons. Yeah. They that gave the Flash two kinda, more seasons. That last season was kind of flaky, but it ca- it came back together. Wait, what, yeah. what show was this called? Black Lightning. Black Lightning. I, yeah, I haven't seen it. Oh, that's what? great. You need to watch it. I, I don't doubt it. I just haven't seen it. Even the I, villain I is like remember it. I just... You say what? Even... As even even the villain is believable. The like, yeah, like, dude. Uh, like yeah. Uh, who was that? Wells. Mm-hmm. What was his name? Yeah. Like in the comics, he was like bigger, but even like even his smaller down version was 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 dope. It's it was medicine. it was. Yeah, no, it was dope. Yeah, I, um, I, see, I stopped. I see. I, I wasn't a big fan, or I didn't really care much for like the CW comic shows. What? I heard they were good. Arrowverse was good. No, no, I heard. I heard they were good. I just, they just no. Eh. I'm. He's, they were good. Like again, I'm not saying they weren't. I'm just saying, like, no. I just because I stopped watching. No, the well, Smallville was the only part one of the I would say. I oh, know not not the Airverse, but the superhero move the superhero like origin stories that were on oh, the CW. Yeah, like, Smallville was all right. Yeah. It's because I watched I watched like all the Flash. That I was like, I they just they just took too long to make I, him. I never Superman, cared for them, in my opinion. Spider Girl, so, no. I'm not gonna talk about that. Well, that was the, no, that was the thing I liked about Smallville, where it's like it didn't just jump into it. I wanted every little glimpse of what made Clark. Somebody Clark. say 
me. Yeah, but it took them 10 seasons before they 10 seasons, 24 the episodes. Yeah, it's each taking season. a solid 10 seasons. Yeah. With like, 24 damn. episodes each. <laughs> and then like, you got to get through high school episode. and college. No, like back then, like seasons were 24 episodes long. Now they're like 10 episodes. So you got to think about back then, like a whole season used to be 24 episodes. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, also in it all. I think I how, how long? No, I think Smallville was like an hour. Yes, twenty four hours a season. You had the box set of Smallville at Best Buy. Hey, like speaking of, you had to, uh, you had 20, to get it. had to get it carried out like money from a casino. They had to come out with like armed guards and stuff. Speaking, That's speaking how big of the 20, box set was twenty four was kind of cool because it, it took me way. It took me a lot longer to realize that entire season took place over one day. One day. Mm-hmm. What do you think like twenty four meant? Speak, speaking of, I thought hours. that was kind of cool. twenty four episodes. Yeah, that was that was kind of cool. I like that. And but they they showed you the clock. You no, 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 no. Like, yeah, you, you got a ridiculous you gotta, clock. Too. No, no, no. Hold on. Let me let me let me explain this because I didn't I like. I watched. I only watched a little bit and pe- like a little bit in piece of twenty four. So I didn't actually. I never sat down and watched an entire season until I was like fifteen, and I was like, "Oh, that's how they did it." So I understood it at that point. But up until that point, mm-hmm. I was like, "This is an interesting concept for a show." But like, I saw the clock. But Boop. if you didn't watch it Boop. concurrently, Boop. Beep. I was like, "Huh, Boop. okay." But I, remember, show, I got it right away. I got it kind of right away, but it just seemed Good like Lord, it didn't. What? No, back then I did. St- kind of get it right away but it was like a sense of i didn't i didn't fully appreciate like as far as storytelling goes and all that how how cool that was in, in my in my defense old or young me was smart and stupid okay <laughs> i understand <laughs> like right, number, nine, number nine we have uh this is us from nbc i heard that show was also really good very good it's a cheer there's a cheer which one, show. which one that was that wild. one the one on NPC, That's where every one. family has like you know a certain thing happening. Well, yeah, it was like adopted family and all of that, and like we're family. Well, yeah, Mohana. Oh, but every episode had just cry, and yeah, it was very. Everybody say it was a very emotional show. So you know. I heard it was really good, but goddamn, did it put a fucking tear in your eye? It did. I was like, man, I can't watch this on my birthday. I watched on my birthday. I'm sorry. A uh, more happier version of that is number eight. We have Modern Family. That's fair. You know, I like Modern yeah, Family. It's a good show. At, at the very beginning, I was a fan of it, and then it just got old for me quick. I can only I watch so old. much Modern Family at once, though. Like, I cannot, I cannot binge an entire season of Modern Family at you once. Can't, like, you can't. You can't. No, it's too much. It's too no, much. It, yeah, it just honestly, I think the only reason why I even bothered watching it is because it had Al Bundy on it. Oh my gosh! I think that may be the only. Oh, I'm sorry. You mean you are you telling me that it's just a continuation of Married with Children? No, no. See, that, I, mean... that, I I knew it wasn't, but I was kind of hoping where it's like, hey, you know what? This is the kind of show that he always kind of did, mm-hmm. and just say what he wanted yeah. to say. And not get any, yeah, not, any, any no repercussions at all. <laughs> yeah, but he got the repercussions. He had Sophia Sophia Vergara as a as a as his wife. So, what she yeah. she got old for me quick. I used to think I used to think she was hot, but she got old for me quick. No, oh, she's still hot. Stop it. Yeah, don't you don't you say? Don't say a damn thing about Sophia Vergara. Don't you fucking dare. Speaking of that, number nine, number seven, we have Mister Robot. From the USA Network. I heard that. That's uh that's Rami Malik, right? Yep. Yeah, I heard that show was really fucking good too. Very good show. That one I do not remember. It was a he was a he he knew all the secrets. He was a hacker. Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number six, we have All American I... from the CW. You and CW shows, man. No, the All American no, is all, that show. No, All American. Listen, that that motherfucker show is and a spinoff. Very good. The the yard or something like that. Wouldn't he yeah, call the, it? Uh, homecoming, homecoming, 
Homecoming. Uh, the, 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 yeah. uh, the HBCU version. Yeah. That. Where his, where his baby mama go off to. <laughs> It'd be a, a to star. H- just, just leave you with the baby and. <laughs> That's messed up. But. <laughs> okay. Can, can go off to college. Can I say something? <laughs> can, I, can I say something? At first. No. So I, 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 I know this show too. But my brain still went to the Americans, which was no, that, not the Americans, which is the Russian and American. No, no, not not, not yeah. That. <laughs> but, but, at first, but at first, my at first my brain went to that. I'd be like, that wasn't on the CW. No. All American is about a football player from Compton that went. To yeah, no. The I I I, I saw I saw both of them, but for some reason my brain went to the Americans. Mm-hmm. No, like the first <laughs> season he went from Compton. He went from Compton to Beverly Hills. Second season he went from Beverly Hills back. Beverly Hills, he stayed back in Beverly Hills. In the third year he goes back to Compton. Mm-hmm. And it's like nigga, choose a school. Who's the school you want to win at Well, that's because well, his coach went back to Compton. He was like, I'm going back to Compton. He was like, I don't want to play for these white boys. And the white boys came with him. It's like, come on, guys. And the white boys came yeah, to Compton. What? Uh, exactly. What? What In what world would you drive? Because remember that. that first episode, he drove his, like, his red, uh, I think it was like a Porsche that or something, is, through Compton. Like, what what world is this? That is not happening. He's like, why are you waiting? Why are you driving a red car over here? He was like, I didn't know. I didn't know what's gonna happen. You were just fucking with him. <laughs> that was the funniest part, man. I was like, really? That's messed up. But the few, I mean, I don't know. I think this might be their last season. Coming yeah, I think it is. It should be. Because now they're in college. Wait. So. I was say, wait, is it still airing? Yeah. 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 Season, wow. We're going to season six. Starts on on April first. So. Dang. And then All American Homecoming is also going into their third season or fourth season, one of those seasons. So see, that's why I th- that's why I thought All American was done when Homecoming Mm-mm. started. No, Homecoming started like in that at the end of four, I think season four, when they would yeah, left that, high school. Yeah, that's why. That's why I thought uh, All American was done. Oh no, they had two more seasons. We're, we're in college now. NIL deals. Oh my god. <laughs> you got two oh whole gosh. seasons you gotta watch. Holy shit! <laughs> and and more and better looking women too. But anyway, that whole show is and but they're they're like their relationships are more mature. You know they don't you know act out like most of these people do out here. So they talk it out. You know they give reasons. They're calm. <laughs> so you don't see that in relationships nowadays. You know. What calm people and oh, well. you do not not in black relationships oh. or in any relationships in general. Like there was a relationship. I think uh, one white guy was with a she was he was with an Asian girl, and then she almost went off. But she was like, you know what? Let's sit down and talk. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is some new shit right here. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the baby, and we're not gonna get married. I was like, oh. What? <laughs> yeah, because uh, was I forgot his name, but he's he's a father now, and they, they were like, I don't want to be married, I don't want to be, I don't know, some new marriage quote stuff, but we're not gonna talk about that today. Um, it's just new stuff that people talk about nowadays, and they like to incorporate it into these shows now. So sounds like a show I need to watch. Then what's it called? Oh, it's a All American. It's a very good. Show. You gotta watch it from the beginning. All American. It's with uh, um, it's with Tay Diggs. Oh, okay. And it's on, you said CW? The CW, yep. Yeah. I'll look that up later. Cool. All right. Uh, number five. We have one of my favorite cop shows of all time, Southland on FX. Uh, I thought you were about to say Brooklyn Nine-Nine. No, I, I hate that show. It's not your kind of humor. I, I understand. I get it. No, yeah, I mean, I I'm, I'm not saying it's not my type of humor. It's just, it's, I just, it's just never... Like if I want a cop show, I don't want a funny cop show. It did, it just didn't land with you. Okay. I don't want to. No, it landed with me. I watched every episode. It's just not one of my top ten shows because it's like, if I was if I want a funny cop show, I'd watch Psych or Monk. Fair. Ah, oh, Monk. I love Monk. Stuff that is like not believable. Like Brooklyn Nine Nine had episodes where it's like, wow, this could have been way better if it was like taken way more seriously. <laughs> so. 
but it did touch on a lot of things. So, Southland is one of those shows, though. You got to watch all the way through. That was okay. Now that was one show I couldn't quite watch, like because how you're saying you like real. where it's more serious and all that. <laughs> no, so I don't. No, I don't mind that because I love watching stuff like Law and Order, The Wire. Uh, mm-hmm. Back when NYPD Blue was a thing, but it was just for some odd reason NYPD. Southland. Maybe it was maybe because it wasn't in New York or like on the East Coast. Maybe that's the reason why it didn't really. It was in Los Angeles. How more? How more? No, I know. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. It's like maybe that's what kind of just took it away from me. Like because I can't because it checks all the boxes of the like of the reasons why I like those kinds of shows, but. What it's never in Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. I don't know why it never. Maybe it is because it's Los Angeles. I don't know. Mm, interesting. Well, speaking of another Los Angeles show, number four, nine one one. Not. Oh, I forgot about that show with Angela Bassett. Now, see, I, I watched nine one one. Great television. Great television. I love nine one one. Now coming back, I think. I think they come back next, next this week. week. Next week or something like that. Oh yeah. shit! I gotta get my schedule back. No, not even a week from now. It's, it's less tomorrow. Than a week. I think it's one of those. It's on ABC uh, now. So. It's on yeah, ABC now. Yeah, because Fox was like ABC oh, picked up a people. bunch of black people. I think it's either this Wednesday. Take it off Fox. It's either this Wednesday or this well, Thursday. What was it? ABC. They switched because I remember uh, was it Last Man Thursday? Standing. I forget. Fox picked up Last Man Standing because they got too political or something like that. Because it was Tim Allen. Come yeah, on, well, that too. Yeah. But like, I, I, I see, I see why. Like, I mean, but it was my point is network hopping like that. Apparently, ABC and Fox just kind of trade off from time to time more than like the other networks. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, ABC also picked up like Magnum PI, and that was on like CBS. Like, no, actually, actually, ABC kind of like owns Fox too, so it's a whole different thing. You said they Wait, own Fox. Is well, Magnum they, they PI own, still they a own, thing? They own a portion of 20th Century Fox, so. Yeah. ABC, yes. Yeah, so I think Fox is their conservative wing, their conservative division yeah. of TV. Well, I, mean, I mean, yes, they own, they own Fox now, but, like, this was back then. No, this, well, is, this, was, this was now. PI. No, 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 Cause, no. Because I mean, no, like, 911 was on Fox, and then they just switched to the ABC this year. No, but, I mean, I think, I think they did that before the merger, too, a few times before the merger as well. No, no. Last Man Standing wasn't on. Um, I thought Last Man Standing was it on went CBS. To, it went to the C. It went to the CW. No, 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 no. It ended its run on Fox. No, it's it's on okay. syndication on CW, but no, it was it was on it was on ABC, and then ABC canceled it. And there was an entire episode when they brought it back where they just fucked with the fact that ABC canceled them because Fox brought them back. And no, after no, the syndication Fox. ended. Because I watched, I watched the last man. No, so he's so. he's right. I just looked at it. It was ABC and then Fox. Yeah, okay. it's running on syndication on like every other channel it can, but it it, it ran or its run was ABC to Fox. Yeah, because it was it's Tim Allen and his conservative views. So yeah, Makes that sense. sounds about right. Uh, Tim Allen. Yeah. I'm not surprised. Great actor, great actor, horrible politician. Now, it's usually how it goes. Number three, Snowfall. Which one is that? Which one? Snowfall, Snowfall. on FX. On FX. I've heard of it, but I don't know much Come about on, it. Come on, guys. It's Snowfall. Let, hold on. It's a cocaine pe- epi- epidemic. Of the 80s this one, and 90s. This one is, I was about to no. say is when the see the government dropped cocaine in the uh, inner communities. Yeah. In LA. I mean that that sounds like something I would like to watch, but no, th- this is the first time hearing of it. Oh my gosh. How do you not know about what? Snowfall? This is one of the up there with Game of Thrones, oh, Snowfall, the Atlanta. TV These are the biggest shows. TV shows of all time. Yeah. Of last decade. Honestly. When did Snowfall start, though? 2001? 18, 19? Like in the mid. I think it was mid, like 15, maybe? I don't want to uh, It says 17. 17? Okay, 17. 17. I mean, I don't disagree with you, but I, I, I did not watch a lot of TV in the 2010s. Yeah, for some reason, mm-hmm. I never... 
Never heard about this show. Wow, you guys are just missing out. <laughs> well, no. there was there was a long period too where I just did not have any cable. So whatever, so whatever wasn't on Netflix or Hulu, just wait. It was on Hulu. It. it was on Hulu. It was on the was next it? day on Hulu. Yeah. They put the series out after it went off one one season. So after the season ended, they put it on Hulu. Son of a bitch. So I could watch it over again. I was like, oh shit, I can watch it again. How did that not how did that not show up in my Same with All American? Like... Same with All American. Once the season was done, oh. they put it on Netflix. Yeah. Yep. It's, yeah, see, it's on Netflix. Yeah, see, that's now. how that's yeah, how I, I watched, watched All watch American. In here and there. So yeah. <laughs> so well, you can go back and watch Snowfall. It's on Hulu. All the seasons. All right, then. Oh, if it's on Hulu, start, start today. Sweet. <laughs> be done by so I got June. so I got two seasons to catch up on All American, and then I got all of Snowfall. Mm-hmm. No, and and you and you gotta watch uh, All American Homecoming, the HBCU. No, I I had been Immerse watching. That's why. That's Immerse why. I, HBCU that's why. Post- I, that's no. That's why I thought All American was done was because of Homecoming. So I I had been watching Homecoming. Oh my gosh! Of what I can of it anyway. Yeah, yeah. I, okay. I watched speaking more of Homecoming. Of, uh, than I have of these speaking movies. of HBCU culture, I took a Black Fraternity Personality Quiz, guys. Oh no! A what? Alpha Phi Alpha. Really? I could. Yeah, yeah. I see that. And I completely agreed. I was like, shit, I got to wear black and gold. <laughs> Fraternity personality quiz. Black, uh, Basil needs to take the, Basil's going to take the black fraternity quiz and he's going to give us a synopsis on the next cross corner. <laughs> hey, real, real talk, real talk. Walter needs to do it too. I'm a, that truck, you do it too. <laughs> I'm doing Honestly, it right. No. Wait, I'll was it, was it the one on scuffed? I don't know. I don't know the. I don't know the. If it's the, the same one, I'm. But the crazy thing is, if I was to go to school, I, I probably would have been either uh, Alpha or Kappa, one or the other. Chuck, I can see you being. I, I can see you being one of the more level-headed cues. No, I don't know. They get on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> you should they get on your nerves. That's fair. That that's fair. They are kind of. They too. They too. They too obnoxious for me. You went like, red. <laughs> I could. I'm, I would probably be a Kappa. I could see Chuck being a Kappa. Yeah, isn't I Kane could, one? Probably, isn't Kane a Kappa? Kane and Kane a Kappa. Yeah. Yeah. He was like a Kappa. He has the personality of Kappa. So. But yeah, yeah, I'm definitely Kappa. Well. So. Yeah, I can't. I, I'm, I'm yeah, I know, I know a Chuck. bunch. I know a bunch of alphas. Like all my friends is pretty much alphas. Hey. We got another one of Chris Canty, so. I mean, you can, was it, was you can it, always join. You know, they got the grad chapter now. The grad was chapter. It a, was, it, was it a 30 question quiz? Mine was long, so I don't know what it will. No. Just I'll send you the link. No, I, I'll send you the link later today. Because so. I might be doing it right now if I'm doing the correct <laughs> one. You'd be like Iota. <laughs> <laughs> You rep it, Theta. 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 Hey, real talk. Hey, <laughs> hey, look, I feel like if Basil I gotta watch survived, that movie today. I'm gonna watch that movie today. Look, look, if Basil <laughs> survived any of the hate, like if, if he went through it and survived any of the haze and they would have put him through, he deserves whatever mm. one he wants. Man. <laughs> cause cause I ain't gonna lie, if you walked up to the Divine Nine and were like, I'd like to join, they would. They whoo. Well, they yeah, the it. thing about the Divine Nine, though, they accept they accept a, a lot of white people. I'm not even gonna lie to you. They do. We need allies. They it's it's a it's a it, it's it's you will be surprised how many white people are in the Divine Nine. Uh, no, it's it, there are a lot. Sororities. We uh we cross the boundaries. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of there's a lot of black people in the non-traditionally black frat, like not in the divine nine and there are a lot of white people in the divine nine just wherever you happen to fit in best yes i think it's all about your personality i mean either though either way i think the divine nine has 
has a, a, a fraternity or sorority for like anybody. Like anybody. you know what I'm saying? Like like for even like for like the nerdy guys, I'm gonna say the Sigmas. That's just my opinion. Like the, the ones that's blue and white, I think that's the Sigmas. Bye, they're Sigma, more yeah. so yeah. They're they're more so of like you know the guys that or at least the guys that I know grew up that became Sigmas, they like what's like in the anime. And like artsy stuff, like you know, cartoons yeah. and stuff. Okay, like hold on, that. hold on, hold on, real quick. One question I got right now is, how would your friends describe you? White, white. white. <laughs> like I don't, I don't really know another way to put it. Than, than okay, white. okay, okay. The ob- okay, the options are funny, <laughs> smart, loyal, or strong. I'll let you. White. I would say loyal. I would say loyal. I would say loyal. Loyal, definitely loyal. Of those four, loyal. Okay, because <laughs> there there is no option E for white. <laughs> Just to like we would, we would we would we would call like when you cut your hair out, we we called you like you know Aryan Brotherhood, all that stuff. But 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 you came next <laughs> next week. You're a loyal. You're a loyal friend, baby. <laughs> uh, you're a loyal friend. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Well, somebody's got to do it, right? Would you rather have us and your friends do it or people on the street do it? Actually, I had I had a lot of people tell me I somehow looked better bald than because with that big old bald spot. Hey, hey, if, 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 if those same people invite you to a meeting, don't go. Don't go. See, I, I try to do I tried to do like Chuck's. There's going to be a cross with straps on it. You're like, oh, who, who the straps for? <laughs> <laughs> you, nigga, get on. You for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> All right. Number two, we have Breaking Bad. AMC. Great. Good. Good. Choice. I have seen I have seen certain episodes. I have not seen it all the way through. I know that is my Ooh. fault. I've heard it is a great show. I agree. It is great from what I've seen. I just need to watch the rest of it. The last the last season a half. Holy crap. Mm-hmm. Buckle up. Buckle the fuck up. You think you've seen how from Mock in the Middle? No, you've seen my man's from Breaking Bad. I saw the I saw the thing where uh, seeing Brian Cranston. I saw the thing where the like the show ended and Hal wakes up and Lois is like, "What are you doing?" And he just goes, "I had a really weird dream, Lois." <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god!" And like, funny. Like, hey. number one, this is one of my this is my favorite show from the 2010s. Uh, and before we get to my number one, we're going to go through some honorable mentions that I didn't name today because obviously I'm going to make some people mad with these. We have Power. Never seen it. Don't want to see it. It's a, it's kind of cool. I like I like Power. Um, Better Call Saul, which is the spinoff from Breaking Bad. Breaking Still Bad. haven't seen Breaking it Bad. yet. Still haven't seen it yet, but you know, don't have to you know desire to. Um, Atlanta. Could have put that it on the list. That didn't have enough good. room. I heard it's good, but I also haven't seen it. Yeah. That show was good. It was a good show. Uh, and these are two shows I've never seen that have literally no desire to see. Game of Thrones <gasps> and The Walking Dead. Well, the Walking Dead was okay. not that great, in my opinion. I it, watched it, a couple You're better off... Walking Bad or Walking Dead, you're better off. Uh, you're better off just reading the graphic novels. Nope, I don't read, so it's okay. So he doesn't read. Yeah, but I mean, I can't read. You, you, you begin not <laughs> Game of Thrones. You begin through the entire the television ever. They say it is. Well, except for that last season. I believe season. them. Except for that I last believe season. Them. It's great, but it is. It's not it even the last lot. season. It's like the last two episodes, but. As far as no, that, Game of Thrones as a whole is, is three bad. quarters of that last season was no. Everybody who was a Game of Thrones fan said it was either the last two episodes or the last episode. I remember when it no, came that's, out, the people last, were going crazy last season, the last episode. Yeah, the last episode it, because it was just they, put a, they made a petition. <laughs> they put out a it petition. Was, it was a whole setup to be just like what redoing the like, entire. What credits? 
Like, <laughs> like it, this what this this is what the builder was like. I did. I'm a, I saw. I did see the last episode of Game of Thrones, and I was like, "This is." It's a stark contrast between the first and the last, and it's really weird. It makes it it, it almost throws off the whole show. Hey, I mean, it does throw off the whole to, show, but like, just but to break far uh, as like the series, the series is fucking great. Even finish, House of Dragons is great. My number one top ten TV show of the 2010s, and this is my favorite show from the 2010s, is Orange Is the New Black. I can see that. I love that show. Wait, I'm sorry, I missed I, the I, what? I, I, I Orange is the new black. black. Oh, that show. I, Woo! Every episode, every season black. finale, you was like, "Oh shit, there's no more episodes till January." What? <laughs> I was crying. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I see that being yours. I was like, oh, they killed who? Oh, they killed her. Oh, they. Like, oh, shit. She's oh, out of shit. jail? No, she's back in jail. Oh, shit. She, she got out? Oh, oh they killed her this time? She's a lesbian, oh, too? Oh, shit. Damn. <laughs> that was the problem. I don't think I saw, I don't think I saw <laughs> the last season, but I saw everything else. I was like, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. That show, that, that, was the def- that show was the definition that we fucked around and we found out. We found out, right. But then they made another one in England called Wentworth, and that one was just as good as Orange is the New Black. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that yeah. One too. My it was just the English version. Mm-hmm. Can I find Which it on like, Netflix? I believe you can. If not on Netflix, I think Wentworth was on, I believe, Max or H... No, they are the same thing. HBO Max. Um, yeah, Max is... Yeah, or... Or, or Hulu. All right. Uh, speaking of, anybody have Paramount? I have Paramount. Did you watch Yellow Jackets? No, no. Because that, that I just, I just have Paramount for a Champions League. That's it. Fair. And Powerpuff fair, Girls. Fair, 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 <laughs> very, very fair indeed. Uh, but okay, because I, because you were, because oh, and Bar Rescue. Top. If you, if I want to watch a new episode, Bar Rescue. I just yeah. thought it was a really good show. That's all. I think I didn't watch so much Bar Rescue. I think I can run one in real life. Low key. Probably. You're going to get somebody sick, God damn it! <laughs> John Taffer would be going crazy. You know what I hate? And everybody's like, raw chicken. <laughs> 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 you touch the chicken, then you touch the salad, touch then you the touch the <laughs> Then you made his fool. Some people cross contaminated. Some people wall. Some people <laughs> don't know how to do it. You're a moron. Yeah. My best one was like, I was like, oh shit. He was like, you did the best you could, and it sucks. <laughs> I said, God damn. God damn. He's like, I did the best I can. So you're telling me you did the best you could. And it sucks. God, <laughs> you need his help. You need his help. That is, it's a shame. Some other honorable mention I had was uh, South Beach Toe, Parky Wars, <laughs> Wars. <laughs> God, you love the Court Cam, Duck Dynasty. No, not hate Duck. No, not Duck Dynasty. No, you ain't no, like no, Duck no. Dynasty. Oh no, no, my no, God, no. the no. Dynasty. South Beach Toe even, is the shit. Even I don't. I'm white. South Beach. The toe dynasty was, was hilarious. Okay, I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. But yeah, yeah, that's been another edition of the Crisscross Corner. We're at two hours, so I'm gonna have to edit this down to forty-five minutes. We I'll are, figure I'll that out soon. Uh, good luck with that. Oh no, I, that's not good luck. It's I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna cut out some parts. That's probably I'll, for the get, I'll get to that point. It's it's for the better. But uh that's been an, another edition of the Chris Cross Corner. Thank you, Basil, Walter, Marcel, and Chuck for being on the show. I'm your host, Chris Canty. See you guys next week. Peace. See ya.